Okay, I found something really interesting. Look at this. This is my favorite theme developer. In most of my videos, even in my day-to-day -day life, I use the themes that are produced by this person. And one day I was just randomly going through his GitHub page in order to see if he has posted anything new. And I noticed some similarities across all the themes that he posts. For example, if I open the Matrix GTK theme, which is above all over here, and head over to the themes directory, you will notice the install.sh script that is present and if you see the options that are over there defined inside the script they're literally the same across all the themes that this person provides i mean if not same you can say they are similar and it's not just that developer but also this another developer whose theme i very regularly use also includes a very similar type of installer for example if we open the graphite gtk theme and head over to install.sh you will find that the similar format of options are there so i thought why not put a graphical user interface for this particular install.sh format so that users can easily install new themes according to the official format using evolve so let us just uh, update evolve and before i start this is an alpha version of evolve and this is not a public release it will be eventually released in the public now people often criticize me and ask me from time to time that evolve is not free they do not want to pay for a gtk theme manager now evolve is free that is the main thing so if you want to support the development you can it is not compulsory so you can just easily download the public release of evolve for free and start using it uh, I don't know why there is a confusion about that but anyway so as you can see I have the current build number that is 172 if you notice the public release it has the 1.7.0 and this is the 1.7.1 or probably 2 I guess 1 if I'm not wrong now I'll just hit update so it will automatically update evolve for me and done evolve is now updated now if I head over to this one info as you can see this is version 1.7.2 and it is the build number 177 okay i'll just restart evil because there are some bugs after reinstalling or updating and here we go the first thing that you will notice in the theme store is this really clean new user interface it's not ready still but i think it is much cleaner than the one we had previously and moreover they were very difficult to maintain at the same time and change according to the new videos posted so i switched over to this really simple one so i'll try to install new themes but before that we need to make sure we don't have the themes installed okay we have graphite uh, Everforest. Okay, let's go for Graphite, but we're going to install a different variant of Graphite because Graphite by default, if you see, it has, it does not have much color. So this is the Graphite that we installed, I mean applied just right now. And as you can see, it is more, more like a grayscale theme, so it does not really have a color of its own and again this is a nightly build of evolve so expect bugs as you can see the theme is not applied properly in evolve you need to restart in order to apply it properly now let's search for graphite now the backend here is changed previously it actually depended on github in order to download and search for themes right now it is dependent on pling which i think is a much more reliable and safer alternative than the github backend that we had previously Okay, as you can see, the user interface is also changed. It is actually inspired by uh, GNOME software. Let's just open software. Yeah. As you can see, if we open a random app, it has the same user interface. The uh, color is different over here because the GTK4 theme takes time in order to apply completely. So it's best to log out and log back in, but yeah get the drill i guess so as you can see it takes a lot of inspiration from the gnome software okay let's go ahead i'm not going to download because it is the normal way of installing if i press download as you can see you will get all the files that are over there what i'm interested in is this one that is the try advanced installation which is exactly what i have mentioned in the beginning of the video now i will also show you the other new features of evil but later 
Okay, so as you can see, it is asking if you want to check if the theme is supported. Now, the main reason I've put this over here is because it actually needs to download certain files and check if the script is properly compatible with Evolve. Now, if it does it automatically, whenever you open a particular theme view page, it will actually waste resources as well as make unnecessarily too many requests to the GitHub. So it might cause some issues with that. So I'll just turn this off. This is not really very important, but it's good to keep it turned on, which is basically it will delay a little bit between fetching different files. But in my practice, it doesn't really cause much problems. Okay, start checking. And as you can see, it checked automatically for the script over there and it is compatible with Evolve. So you can put the description over, I mean destination over here and then you can put the name of the theme. So let's give it a name. Let's name it Evolve, okay? With capital E. Now if you notice something over in the bottom navigation bar, I've added this one which is basically it shows the parameters that it is going to apply automatically based on the options you select in the graphical user interface. Okay, now the color. We have default. At default it is showing blue, but it's actually monochrome. But anyway, let's go for green. And we have the color variant. It's currently set as all. Let's go for dark version. The size. Uh, I won't do anything over here. GDM, I don't need it. Libertvitor, okay, link it for Libertvitor. And finally, we can add some more tweaks as required. So we have the node, which gives the node scheme. Um, as you can see, the node and darker cannot mix with black. So you cannot add all three together. But let's see what happens if we add node. And then we're going to make it rimless. So there is no border. It gives that modern feel. And then let's add float in order to make the upper part, I mean, the top bar floating. And there is also this option for the normal sidebar style. I won't really go for that because I like the one that comes with the default graphite theme. Okay, so that is all what I'm going to do. And download and install. And as you can see, it will automatically show you the readme page. And there is something interesting over here because it is actually really nicely made adaptive. It's not perfectly adaptive, but I guess it is better than having nothing. But the main reason why readme is shown over here so that you can install the dependencies as required. So I'll just install git because that is what Evolve is telling me, install git before proceeding. And then you have this, that is the GNOME theme extras. Is it available on Ubuntu? I don't know. I'll just see if I can get it over here. Okay, it depends on the distro. So I'm on Ubuntu. I'll go for this. Copy and paste. And that is all. Enter the password. Okay. So all of them are installed already on my system. So I don't need to do anything. And that is all what I need to do and install as you can see it automatically starts downloading the theme which is basically git cloning the theme and then it will run the command as it was shown over there as you can see done the installation is complete i need to restart evolve or you can just switch the tabs and it actually refreshes the themes that are present over there and now let's search for the theme here we have it evolve green dark node select and apply and this is how it looks. Interesting. See? This is quite different from the default theme that you get with Graphite, which is basically like completely monochrome. I really like it, how you can customize it completely based on your requirements. So I'll just restart Evolve so it does not look weird. Yeah. Interesting. Now, the main reason why I added this is because if you go, like try to download stuff from here by default, 
you only get these many options. There is the graphite dark node, graphite dark, graphite light node, and these are just the basic version. So if I just get the dark edition, as you can see, it is downloading right now and it's done. I'll just close it and it will automatically install. Done. And here we have the graphite dark node and apply. As you can see, it is much more different than the one we had in the green edition that we created. The upper bar looks different, so it's almost like a different theme over here. But it definitely carries the vibe of the graphite theme, but it's not the same. It also has these borders, which are not removed. And that is where the advanced installation steps in. And it's not just graphite, it actually works for any theme that is supported. For example, if you remember, there is a theme called Tokyo Night. So I'll just search for Tokyo Night. Here we have it. Here we have the advanced installer. Start checking. Here we have it. Name, let it be Tokyo Night. Theme. Okay. I'll go for the orange variant. Color, let's go for the dark version. I'll choose compact for this one. Let's see how it works. And obviously link the GTK4 theme, macOS edition as a tweak. And then one thing to remember, do not put spaces over here. If you put spaces, it uh, often might mess up the command that you can see in the bottom part loading okay float oh there are also color schemes okay let's go for storm and outline not really required that is all download and install and as you can see it again shows the readme and you can install the dependencies from here gtk marine engine as much as i remember i guess i installed in the last one and uh, i tried to install yeah as you can see and it's already present, so I don't need to do that. And manual installation and all, you need not see because you're installing from here. That's all, and install. Again, it starts downloading, and after it is done, it will automatically install it. Done. Just switch back and forth, and you will be able to find Tokyo Night. Here we have it. The orange dark compact storm version i know it looks weird yeah as you can see this is the compact version of the tokyo night installed and it is also applied for gtk4 i think uh, in the compact edition these window buttons are placed too close to each other i'll just restart evolve again so it doesn't look weird yeah and a similar thing is also present in the icon section so as you can see we don't have the Quora icons if i search for Quora. Here we have Quora icons and download. I'll just download the normal version. And when I close, it will automatically start the installation. Now for icons, I actually need to close and reopen Evolve in order to refresh the themes that are present. As you can see, Quora is installed. I can just click and apply Quora from here. So that is all for today. I think these are very important features which elevate the experience in a GNOME desktop. So it pretty much manages to bring that KDE experience and it also makes it much better with the advanced theme installers. Do tell me if you like these new features and if you want to support, you can always support me on Patreon. And as a perk, you will be able to download this version of Evolve right away and start testing. And as always, these will be released in the future in the public release and you can enjoy them from there too, absolutely at no cost for free. That is all for today. Thank you so much for watching. Do like, share and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one.